the Atlanta Hawks did it, and they'll be facing the Cleveland Cavaliers to hopefully be the eighth seed to face the Miami Heat in the NBA playoffs. And this is an Atlanta Hawks team that literally from the moment that we saw Kevin Herter hit a three, then DeAndre Hunter hit a three, and then they followed it up with a Trey Young no-look lob to Clint Capella in the first quarter. I literally tweeted out, you know, the the Hawks are feeling it tonight, okay? Danilo Gallinari had a few three-pointers. He had a double-digit point. Basically, everybody in the starting lineup had a double-digit point. DeAndre Hunter literally held anybody he was a, held all the people he defended so i think it was like less than two or three field goals made basically they scored less than 10 points collectively deandre hunter was a dog so i want to hear your guys' thoughts i'll make my predictions video for the cleveland cavaliers hawks game very soon so stay tuned i'll make that but right now i want to talk about what we saw tonight we just saw a team that just demolished Okay, the Hornets on the board. And the other thing, we were just getting offensive rebounds and just putting shots up. Offensive rebounds, putting up shots. Okay, they were literally the, the fact that we blew this team out so so much that Timothy Luwalu Cabarro and DeLon Wright basically were closing out the game in the fourth. Nate McMillan was like, okay, Trey, okay, Kevin Herter, okay, Hunter, just let Timothy Luwalu, Bogdan Bogdanovich, DeLon Wright. Nucky Okongu and Daniel Gallinari lead the show. Okay, it was fun. Even DeAndre Hunter at the end, he came back in. And DeAndre Hunter had himself a 20 point game. And Hunter right here tonight looked like the guy that from last season, before he got hurt, he's a 17 point per game scorer. That's what we saw tonight out of this man. And it's fun. It was fun to see. And when I watched this, I was thinking, this is a Hawks team that. Cleveland Cavaliers, I think this is going to be a good match, and we'll talk about that, but the thing is, is tonight, they shut down, okay, basically everybody off the bench, and the crazy part was, they basically told LaMelo, you're going to have to beat us, okay, because P.J. Washington, he had some moments, he helped out Terry Rozier, so did he, but Terry Rozier and LaMelo Ball were just shot chucking, it felt like at one point, they were just trying to make stuff happen out of nothing, it wasn't, and it, I really, I kudos to Danilo Gallinari, you know, from and DeAndre Hunter for matching up against Washington Bridges, Marin, McDaniels, Ubre, everything they threw at them. They did a very good job of matching it up. And it was very fun, very fun. It was just it was good basketball all in all. Nate McMillan and Trey Young, he was started this game off slow. He first half, not that great, but then he he turned it around. So kudos to him. Great, great win for the Atlanta Hawks. That's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. What do you guys think of this game? Are you guys on the same page with me? It was a good performance by the Hawks. And I think when we talk about the Cleveland Cavaliers versus the Atlanta Hawks, woo, baby, that's going to be an interesting one, in my opinion. So let me hear your thoughts down below in the comments, guys. A little short one, just recap of the game. 